Hey lab members, working with one of my students, we actually kind of came up with an anti-rotation drill. So if you slice the ball, this is a great way to kind of start feeling how that lower body works in the downswing. Now we gotta be careful with this because I don't want you to, to overdo anything with this lead leg. But what we're doing and talking about is once we get up to the top, if you think of these hips as being an active or concentric motion working this way, that automatically gets that club working here, working outside. I don't even have to do anything. So what we want though, is once we're here, it's a coordination of arm swing and lower body to get down into this position. So that's the reason why I want that sequence to perceive as arms accelerating first and then body. So the anti-rotation drill is actually kind of a, and I want you to use like a, a a paper plate, you can do it on the grass here, or a towel, something to give you a little bit less friction than your golf shoes. So that's one thing I want you to be careful with. But the anti-rotation drill, and you're actually gonna do this, let's say with like a seven iron or something like that. Anti-rotation drill is you actually hitting balls and trying to turn your left or your lead leg in as you're hitting a shot. Now, this only applies as a drill, if you slice the ball, if you're coming in way underneath, it may not be the best drill for you because it could possibly get you too far underneath. So as we're doing this, I want you to feel as those arms are coming down, that this leg, this quad is staying and that knee is pointing behind the ball still as you're hitting it. And again, we're not gonna have a full finish either. So it's just here and it just kind of folds up. It's a drill. It's not how we're gonna swing. Now. How does this get applied to the full swing? What we want to see is as I get wound up, as I'm coming down, I got to get the arms down to here and I can brace off this lead leg, okay? Any throwing motion, hitting motion, golf swing, kicking is all done off a solid post. So we need the musculature and the glutes, hams, and quads to be that post coming down. So this anti-rotation drill kind of gives us a feel. From the side of you, front of you coming up, going to feel like that. Glutes staying up, make a good posture, support here as those arms are swinging through. So the drill, that, feeling that leg stay in, and you can see a short finish. That's just how it gets those arms down here. Once we kind of get that going, we want to have that sequence arms. And then once those arms get down here, now we're trying to bust it through and I want everything going through the ball and really feeling like this upper body is what's dictating that pace. Now that one, I ran off a little bit. I could feel myself opening up too much. Ball goes to the right. That's a common mistake in trying to create speed as we think we have to go but the lower body is an eccentrically loaded rotation on the way down. Here, there. Just crush that dead straight. So work on that, that sequence of getting those arms down here, stabilizing with that lower body with good posture. And then as that's getting down here, we're just chasing it through and going through with that upper body. We need that good upper body rotation to carry our arms through the ball. Thanks for your support. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.